welcome to another episode of Roxy's Ride and Inspire. Once again, I'm at home and I have another training video for you, which is today it's a high intensity training, which means it's very short, but very intense. And we don't need any type of weights or gear. It's just body weight if you have a cat and we will need a bike. We don't need a lot of space because of course, in the times of the coronavirus crisis, we're all at home and hopefully, and we can't go out. So this is a workout you can either in your living room or as I am in your yard, if you're lucky enough to have, have one. Hope you enjoy it. First, of course, we need a warm up. So what we will be doing is four to five minutes of running backwards. Yep, that's right. We wanna run backwards. This is how it looks. Yes, I know that looks funny, but that's the point because fun is effective. After the warm up, you want to do some mobility, which is the cat and the cow, how some of you might know it from yoga. And that's this exercise. Yeah, and it's the exercise I'm doing, so not the one the cat's doing. <laughs> After the cat and the cow, you can add some shoulder mobility and then we have one more mobility and then we're ready to go. One last mobility exercise is the so-called bear sit. And this works much better without shoes, so you might wanna take off your shoes. The bear sit is what I will be demonstrating right now. So you're swapping from left to right and it's a very good exercise for hip mobility, which is something we as bikers should really do often. There are different levels. This one is already level two, so the one with getting up, and you can also add some chest mobility, which is what I will be demonstrating now in the next one. Always go along as far as you feel well. This is your workout, so you should feel well. If you want to stay with level one, then that's totally fine. Now that we're warm and mobile, it's time to go. So now burpees is our first high intensive exercise. Do as much as you can, so almost to 100%. This means if you can hardly get up, then you might wanna stop shortly before. The next exercise is dips. So a nice little exercise for our triceps. And also here, you wanna go to almost 100%. You do want to feel those muscles burning, but obviously you don't want your arms to fall off. And the next exercise is box jumps, which you look for a chair or anything that is fixed and you jump up and down. Also here you want to go to 90% of what you can do, so you really want to feel those legs burning. And after all, we're mountain bikers, so we're just going to continue with the legs. It's almost a pistol squad, just a little bit easier. So you want to put your leg on some a chair or like here a wall and you want to do both sides and you want to go to about 90% again. For the on bike exercise, please lower the saddle. And now let me show you what the exercise is. Here's a slow-mo and the movement is lock the brakes, load the bike and jump off to the side. We want to repeat this on both sides, so left and right, and at least four times on each side. This is the so-called North Shore dismount, which means we can dismount our bike when we're riding North Shores or anything that is skinny and high, and we want to get off our bike safely. The next exercise is the handstand. Of course, you don't have to do it freely. You can do it against the wall. I'm also a complete beginner at handstands, but it's a great exercise. And you can try to get your feet off the wall as long as possible, but you always have the wall to help you. And this is the last leg exercise, which is quick strength, but also coordination and a little equilibrium as well. After you've done three full sets, now it's time to sit down and to say five positive things to yourself. If you can't think of five positive things to say, then say, even though I'm not ready to say five positive things to myself, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. At first, this might sound a little weird, but trust me, do this for seven days, at least once, and you will already start to feel a difference. Thank you for 
watching and hope to see you again next time for my next video comment below what you liked about it and maybe also comment below what you would like to see in the next video and if you have any suggestions always tell me and i would love it if you clicked subscribe